What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we will be looking at my favorite courses for Tableau and Power BI. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is Udemy. And when I was flat broke and could not afford a $40 or $50 subscription to other platforms, Udemy had my back. And I could afford a course for $10 or $15 here or there, and I could hold on to them forever. And there are still courses that I go back to today that I bought three or four years ago, and I've only paid $10 for them. And so if you are wanting to become a data analyst, I highly recommend checking out Udemy. Thank you so much for today's sponsor. Now let's get into the video. So in several videos, I've talked about why you need to learn a BI tool as a data analyst. And typically the biggest ones that come up are Tableau and Power BI. And for the most part, I recommend most people learning Tableau. I feel like that's the easiest one to learn. That's the one that I picked up first and that I feel like I learned it the easiest. And a lot of people get really mad at me because they really like Power BI and they want me to use that on my channel. And so for a recent video where I did a portfolio project, I used Tableau and a lot of people were like, why didn't you use Power BI? Can I use Power BI? And I just wanna say there's nothing wrong with Power BI. I've just been using Tableau longer and I feel like I'm a little bit better at it. And so that's why I use it in my videos and I recommend it. Now there are a lot of similarities. and There's also a lot of differences between these two tools and I'm not gonna get into all of those today. I think I'll leave that for a completely different video, but I am gonna give you a really biased version of that video really quickly to just hit some of the highlights that I think are somewhat important. When it comes to connecting to data sources, Power BI is fairly limited in the data sources that it can connect to, whereas Tableau can connect to almost any data source you could possibly want. On the other hand, a lot of people will say that Tableau is harder to learn and that Power BI is fairly easy to learn. It's a little bit more user friendly and the interface is a little bit better to understand. One thing to mention that may be really important to you is that Tableau is significantly more expensive than Power BI. Power BI is quite affordable, where Tableau tends to be a little bit pricey. I don't actually pay for either of those. I just use the free version or the desktop version of both for my tutorials. But if you're going to be paying for it, you might want to look into the price. Now, I'm going to stop there with the comparisons. There are so many things that we could talk about in regards to the differences and the similarities. In the end, I think it's really important to have one of these tools on your resume so that you can show employers that you know how to use BI tools as well as visualize data. And if you've never done that before, it can be a little intimidating because some of these tools look pretty complicated. But I've chosen two courses, one for Tableau and one for Power BI, because again, I think both of them are fantastic tools. And I'm gonna walk you through these courses super quickly so that you can see the one that I have taken and I really liked and learned a lot from. So let's jump over my screen and let's start taking a look at these courses. Our first course is for Tableau, and this is the Tableau 2020 A to Z Hands-On Tableau Training for Data Science. Absolutely fantastic course. You can get it for about $13 or $14. Um, they also have this thing that you can subscribe to, and I have never seen this. This is completely new to me as of right now. Um, it looks like you can now subscribe to Udemy uh, like you can other places, but it's only $30 a month, which is uh, fairly cheap for a subscription-based platform. But you also have the opportunity to buy it uh, like normal. It says $130, but on discount, you'll get it for like $13 or $14. So wait around for those or look for a coupon code. Um, really quickly, let's look at what you're gonna learn in this course. So when you get started, of course, you're going to be learning how to install it and you can go right over here and that's the installation part. But it, when you go right down here, you have this get materials and it pulls you over to here where you can look at all the Excel files or CSV files that you're gonna be using throughout this course. Um, and a lot of these I use for like personal projects because I didn't know where to get data sets at the time and so I used a lot of these. Um, and so these are really good data sets to use. There is no giant project in this course. Um, if there's one downside to this specific course is that there isn't projects, um, which I'm a huge fan of. So I just use these myself and did my own projects basically. Um, but you'll be learning a ton of things. Let's look at this really quick and look at some of the things you're gonna be learning. Um, really quickly, he's gonna start out by taking you through how to use Tableau, building your first, um, bar chart, then you work on time series, aggregation and filters, maps, scatter plots, and building an actual dashboard, um, which is, of course, when you put a lot of those visualizations together to put them all in one place, that's what a dashboard is. Um, you learn about joining and blending uh, data together, advanced dashboards, storytelling, advanced data preparation, clusters, 
And then, you know, that's basically it. It is a very compact course. It is not super long. It's not like 15, 16, 20 hours, which I have taken courses that are that long. Um, this is a nine hour course, and I'm pretty sure that's right down here. It's only nine hours. So in terms of courses, this is a very streamlined, uh, a very streamlined course that you're going to be taking. I think I did this in like less than a week. I mean, I, you know, I was kind of learning it at the time. So it took me maybe three to four days, uh, but I just like blew through this. And I think it really caught me up to speed really quickly. And then another course that I recommended um, a while back is a course that teaches Tableau projects. It's only Tableau projects, which I really liked because I like projects. And so um, if you were looking for a Tableau course that is going to get you in and really teach you everything quickly, this is a fantastic, fantastic course. The course for Power BI that I recommend is the Microsoft Power BI Desktop for Business Intelligence. Again, you can subscribe and have it under that subscription um, and free for seven days if you want to do that. Or you can buy it. Again, don't buy it for the full price. Wait for a sale or look for a coupon code and apply that. I took this one not too long ago. Um, I have not been using Power BI in my job at all, um, or at least not that much because I work on the ETL side of things. But I recently had a project where I kind of needed to use it a little bit. And so this was a course that I really had been wanting to take. And so I kind of justified my taking it. Um, I learned so much from it. And one of my favorite things that I like about this one, it is still short, just like the Tableau one. But this one has a complete project at the end. And so let's go into the course and see what you're actually going to be learning. Of course, at the beginning, they're going to show you how to install it. Um, what we're looking at is actually the course project. So what you're seeing on your screen is what you're going to be building at the end. And this was really, really good for me because I had never really built a full-fledged dashboard in Power BI. I've done all of that in Tableau, and it's a little bit different how it all comes together. So it's really nice to be able to have a project at the end of that. Um, at least I really like that. So that's something that you're going to get. You're going to be learning how to connect to the data, create relationships, and build the data models. You're going to be using and analyzing the data with DAX. Now, what is DAX? Let's just go over to Google, and I'm just going to read off the description because Honestly, I don't think I'd do it justice if I just kind of described what it was. But DAX is a programming language that is used throughout Microsoft Power BI for creating calculated columns, measures, and custom tables. It is a collection of functions, operators, and constants that can be used in a formula or expression to calculate and return one or more values. Um, so in a really, really quick abbreviated version of what that is, it's the programming language that Microsoft Power BI uses. Something I get asked a lot is, do I need to learn DAX if I'm using Power BI? My answer typically is you don't have to, but I think as you get more advanced, it is really good to know how to use that. Um, for what I need it for and what I use it for, I don't really use DAX. Um, I learned a ton throughout this course, but I don't really use it in my actual job. And so, um, you know, I think it's worth learning as you get more advanced. And if you actually get a Power BI job where you're using it a ton, you know, you probably should learn it. Um, so anyways, yeah, there's like three hours in there. So you will absolutely learn it in this course. Of course, you're going to be looking how to visualize the data um, with Power BI reports. They have this new artificial intelligence. I think they added it after I took that because I that was not there um, when I was taking it. And then, of course, they're going to show you how to actually build the visualization, build this dashboard that you can see right up here. Um, I really just think that this is a fantastic fantastic course. It's done by Maven Analytics. Um, I believe that's who does it. I don't, I don't think I can go and verify down here, but the people who do this are really good. Overall, I think that if you were looking for a course to teach you Power BI, this would be the first one that I would go to, especially because you get that project at the end. In the end, I think both of those courses are fantastic options. And if you are really confused at which one you should be taking, I really think that you should look around at your domain and see if there's a certain type of BI tool that's typically used. Is Microsoft Power BI being used a lot or is Tableau being used a lot? And I would go for that one. Or if you're already working at a place that uses one of those tools, I would learn that one. I wouldn't learn Tableau if you're currently at a job that uses Microsoft Power BI. So take a look at those things. Think about which one would be best for you and then choose a course and just go for it and start learning. You really can't make a wrong choice when choosing between these BI tools. They are both fantastic options and they both have their place in the market. 
And so the biggest thing that you can do is just to choose one, get started, start learning, and then start to build out those dashboards that you can eventually add to your portfolio. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.